Yeah, it's a little known fact. Uh, in 1967, June 1967, uh, Israel uh, invaded East Jerusalem and conquered it, uh, occupied it, and then was in possession of all of historic Palestine. Uh, and in 1967, they conquered the West Bank, including East Jerusalem and the Gaza Strip, uh, and then the Syrian Golan Heights and the Sinai from Egypt. Well, soon after the conquest, uh, after Israel had, had defeated uh, Jordanian forces, they sought to expand. They were now in possession of the Western Wall for the first time in 19 years. They sought to expand the space before the Western Wall uh, and make it into a large plaza, and they did. But what obstructed that plan was a Palestinian neighborhood, a 700-year-old neighborhood, uh, mostly Muslim, but some Christian families, who had, that neighborhood had been there for almost 700 years, from the age of the Mamluk period. And uh, without any warning, one evening, about a week after uh, the victory in the Six-Day War, Israel gave the residents of that neighborhood two hours notice, and then he forcefully evicted them and bulldozed their homes over the course of uh, that night and the next day. A seven, between 600 and 1,000 Palestinians were made homeless. Their homes and everything they owned w were razed to the ground and cleared away, and they were made uh, refugees in their own city. Uh, so if you ever go to visit uh, East Jerusalem, you go to the old city and you, you want to go to the Western Wall, you'll notice that there's a very large plaza, plaza there where Israelis congregate, but also many tourists, and uh, a host of national, Israeli national events take place there uh, in this kind of merging of national ritual and religious ritual. Uh, but that space is internationally uh, recognized as occupied uh, Palestinian territory, even though it has some proximity to the Western Wall. Yes. Two Israelis principally responsible for the, the demolition of the, the, the so-called so Moroccan Quarter was the, were the one, the mayor at the time, uh, Teddy Kalik, who was sort of a labor, kind of a dovish, on the dovish labor side of the Israeli political spectrum, and another man, Meron Ben Venisti, who, who became deputy mayor under Kalik, uh, who was even, became even much further to the left of Kalik, but both were and admit responsibility for giving the order, which was in violation of international law because an occupying power, which universally understood, cannot change the status of an occupied territory. And every country in the world, even the United States, recognizes uh, East Jerusalem as minimally uh, you know, part of a, pa a Palestinian nation. Most countries in the world uh, acknowledge uh, Israel's presence in East Jerusalem as, strictly speaking, an illegal, part of an illegal military occupation, which is why no country in the world, including the United States, has their embassy in Jerusalem because even the United States State Department considers Israel's presence in East Jerusalem uh, part of an illegal occupation. Yeah, sure. Oh, yes. Yes, well, uh, Edward Said's family, a Palestinian, noted Palestinian intellectual, born in Jerusalem. His family uh, house is still standing in Jerusalem. Uh, he was born there, and they were made refugees during the 1948 war, could never go back and reclaim their house. And I noticed in the course of research when I was looking at the house, which I knew was his from his writings, I noticed on the mailbox was a faded name of a former resident uh, by the name of Martin Buber, who many of your viewers will know, uh, one of the most important Jewish theologians and philosophers of the 20th century. A man of mostly of the left, a religious man, uh, but, but one who wanted to seek in his writings, he, he noted that he, he, it's really important to seek reconciliation with the Palestinians and to create an equal, a society where, where all people are equal. Uh, that vision has not won out in Israel, but it's interesting that even a man of the Israeli left could have uh, lived in a, a Palestinian home that was emptied of their inhabitants. Uh, an interesting irony.